Whoa! <laughs> Can you see me? That's hot. Welcome to another edition of Mo the RV and Me. This edition is going to be kicking off kind of a long series of what I'm going to be doing over time here in Mo. Since it is getting cold weather and Mo needs still a lot of work, let me uh, turn off the fan up here and I'm going to show you here what we got in the RV as far as what I'm talking about. All right, so you saw that I got the uh, furnace going. That's something I normally wouldn't be running because as I start boondocking and winter RVing, um, I'm going to be using different sources of heat. But since I'm plugged into power right now and I have heat built in to the uh, air conditioning up top, and I got the furnace going, even though it's a chilly 40 degrees outside, it is... Oh, it's pretty warm in here. 70, I want to say 75, 76 degrees. So it's pretty toasty in here. But uh, I'm not here to talk about the heat. That was in the last video. So what I'm talking about is uh, interior upgrades and improvements so that the appearance inside here will be, will be a little more modern, upgraded, more comfortable, more visually appealing. So let me spin the camera around. I'm going to show you what I'm going to start first. I haven't done anything yet. I just decided to grab the camera and start recording. And you can see up front, this is the part I'm going to work on first. And the walls, cabinet doors, and everything else. And work my way back. So what I'm going to do is start stripping things down. Let me show you what I got. Shed a little light on the situation here. <laughs> okay, so my tools are pretty basic. It's a Phillips screwdriver and my Makita with a square bit on it. And you'll see up here the this strip and the strip above and the front, that strip, I'm taking those down. And I'm actually going to re relocate those to the rear of the RV because I measured out the windows and they're basically the same size. So as far as privacy is concerned, I'm going to have top and bottom, and it'll be on track on top and bottom to keep privacy. Because the RV is at an angle in the back, so if I had a regular curtain or a blind, it would just kind of flop. And people could look down upon me while I'm sleeping here in the bed, so I don't want that. And then, of course, on the sides here, I'll have that as privacy curtain. Here in the small window, I'll probably have just a regular curtain or a shade, not sure yet. And in order to uh, get rid of all the, what you see here, the old staining from when the RV was leaking after, now that, now that I got it repaired, it's not leaking, but the leaking, leaking we had before created some staining problems. So some of you guys have probably seen this stuff before in the store. It's pretty common. And it's kills. Now this kills here... That's an oil-based kills, and I decided to use an oil-based kills because it's actually the best for sticking to surfaces like this. This is kind of a paneling plywood type surface with a bit of a smooth surface on it, and kills will actually stick to it really, really well. So with minimal surface prep, I can put the kills right up on there, 
and then I will eventually put a nice color top coat on there. Um, down the road, that up there actually will become a fantastic fan, but that's another, that's for another episode. So let me get the camera on the tripod. And I'll probably just put it on fast speed. I don't think you guys want to see me in regular speed crawling around, but I'll do a little bit, I guess. But let's get started. All right, here goes nothing. Okay, so I got most of it down, I got started. I just wanted to show you guys up close. Yeah, there was water damage from the prior owners not taking care of the RV like I had mentioned in a video a while back. But I have sealed the outside and we've had some rain recently and it's nice and dry in here now. So I know that the weather weatherization of the front of the RV has been successful. Um, let me back up. What I plan on doing, let me spin around real quick, is the back of the RV, that's going to be my sleeping quarters. That's where I am going to sleep. And the RV is just for me. I mean, uh, unless I meet the future Mrs. X, <laughs> it's just going to be me here in the RV. So, uh, up front here, uh, I won't have a need for sleeping arrangements. And since I am limited to just the one closet over here, and I do have a small one, but that's the pantry closet for the kitchen, I decided what I'm going to do, and this will be, again be in a future video, but likely somewhere around this area here in the front cab, I might do it right here and maybe install something up here for storage. But what's going to happen is that this whole front end is going to turn into storage. Uh, I am going to dispose of those cushions back there. I don't have a need for them. Now if you guys are watching this video and you want those cushions, <laughs> drop me a message before I get rid of them. But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep taking this stuff apart up here and um, kind of getting going on prepping this area for paint. Uh, up above, I'm going to leave the lights in place for now, but what's going to end up happening is those again in a future uh, video, I a lot of future videos. This is the very first day, the very first start of uh, getting uh, Mo upgraded on the interior wise. Um, as far as like uh, mechanics, that's going to likely be in the spring. Uh, Mo, until I get her completely remodeled on the interior, which is going to take a while. Um, Mo is not going to go in for any major mechanical overhauls, but I do have her, some plans for some major mechanical overhauls, which we'll cover 
in the future. Um, so let me get back on uh, disassembling the front here and we'll get her broken down to its raw parts and then we'll go forward from there. All right. As you saw in the previous shot, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty rough. So it'll take some repair, but uh, yeah, I'll get that off the repair of this, and uh, put a top coat of paint, primer, or you know, kills primer over it, and seal it up. As far as the holes are concerned, I have some extra piece of. Uh, plywood here and I'll probably end up cutting that to fit and just covering it. Now I know some people say well you know, the cab is rotted away. Actually no it's not. Um, sorry a little crunched over. I did uh, have the uh, RV apart. I didn't film that part when I sealed the front. Uh, not only the roof but the front edges and the so forth. Um, and structurally she's good so if she was rotten you know I wouldn't be able to sit up here and uh, be comfortable so I, it's okay it's just mostly cosmetic in here mostly interior wise is where it got the worst because a lot of it actually leaked from up top came down and came through and saw the interior sections so let me finish tearing this all apart and we'll clean up and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do as far as I'm all crunched over still as far as getting ready to uh, paint. <laughs> all right. Whew. So I got all these plastic strips down and wood. And I'm just going to set the camera down here. Hopefully I'm getting this in the shot. A little wiggly, sorry, crooked. Uh. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you something before I get started. A little top tip for you guys who are full-time RVers or part-time RVers or just casual or whatever. Um, if you're looking for something for a vacuum cleaner, small, it'll fit in the RV perfectly. I stumbled across this Stanley, and I'm not promoting the product, I'm just saying it's a, there's probably a hundred brands out there, but the Stanley is the one I found. You know, it's just a little one gallon shop vac and it's great for the RV um, I don't do the floors on it but I'll eventually probably find something small for the vacuum the floors but that that's down the road like I've been saying all right so uh, yeah I like this little thing here and uh, it's great let's, uh, let's get started All right, it's all cleaned up there now. Uh, so we're gonna do the repairs, but uh, I think what I'm gonna do is get started on the painting at the very least up on the roof and get that paint that primer started. Oh, I got a couple more things to take down. So on the next edition uh, here coming up pretty pretty soon probably. Uh, you'll see me painting. So we'll see you guys. Uh, <laughs> we'll see you out there. Ugh.
Ow. Oh. Uh. Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. So let me. Uh... I'm gonna go put this on the tripod and get on to the next thing here, so hang on a second. Oh, I've still got it on record. All right, hold on. Hell. All right, now it's not screwing in. Pod. And put this on the tripod. Oh!